Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about platelet disorders of the pregnancy. Uh, and this is the mother video in which I will describe various causes of thrombocytopenia and the disorders. These disorders, some of them are already covered in the videos already in this channel and the remaining will be covered uh, or they are actually in the pipeline. So, thrombocytopenia is second common to anemia which is the most common. So, when, a, when you are an obstetrician and when you do a actual practice of obstetrics, you will find 6 to 10 percent of the pregnancies having thrombocytopenia. And this is, my friend, a very gray zone uh, 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 clinics. For example, you have a very vast experience of managing anemia. But what you don't know exactly is thrombocytopenia. Anemia, every, every obstetrician knows how to manage anemia. But thrombocytopenia, a very few people have a real idea what can be the various causes of thrombocytopenia and how to treat them and what, that can, what they can uh, impact on the pregnancy outcome. So it's very important and it's a, it's a second step of an obstetrician to know these disorders so that they can uh, actually uh, do good to their patients. So, whenever you see thrombocytopenia, that means the platelet counts are less than 1.5 lakhs per microliter. Okay. So, first of all, understand that the platelets uh, are generated from one mega karyocyte. One mega karyocyte generates 2000 to 3000 platelets. And this all process is under the influence of thrombopoietin. So thrombos basically what happens in the pregnancy, thrombocytopenia is the is the actual uh, 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 most common situation. And the reasons of thrombocytopenia are here. Whenever you find this thrombocytopenia, you need to look in this, uh, in the seven reasons, okay. The very common is gestational thrombocytopenia. The second comes is ITP, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or it's also called isoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura. It, it's an immune disorder. Second comes is thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. This is an actual an obstetrics emergency, my friends. Thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Disseminated intravascular coagulation. This thing is uh, uh, there many a times when there is uh, too much amount of uh, uh, hemorrhage and like that. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. This is also a cause of thrombocytopenia. Antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, APLA syndrome. Whenever you find that APLA, you need, uh, you, your mind thinks like uh, uh, that APLA syndrome of abortions. But what you don't know actually is, it is a reason of thrombocytopenia in actual pregnancy third trimester. So you need to also think this disorder and that context also that yes, it can do a thrombocytopenia. And the very common and everybody, everybody's food is preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is the uh, and help syndrome. These are uh, also causing thrombocytopenia. What we counter most of the time is preeclampsia, help syndrome, and gestational thrombocytopenia. These disorders, there is ITP, TTP, DIC, HUS, and APLA. These are relatively not very common. But you need to understand these disorders also. Many a times you lose the diagnosis in name of preeclampsia or HELP syndrome or gestational thrombocytopenia. So, so far now I have videos on these disorders. Let me clear. Uh, I have a video on HELP syndrome and preeclampsia. I have so far a video of thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura here. Which video I don't have is gestational ITP, 
hemolytic uremic syndrome and apla syndrome apla syndrome there is a video in my channel but it only uh, in context of abortion the reason of abortion i will make a separate video that apla syndrome can also cause thrombocytopenia so these videos are in pipeline so far you need to understand these are the causes and when you call a thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia you call when the platelets are less than less than 1.5 lakhs per uh, microliter thank you friends